talk about taxation. It is a very sensitive uh, issue, issue that needs to be taken with a lot of seriousness. But we'll wait and see. He's saying uh, he will lobby his um, uh, colleagues. He will also lobby members of parliament, and they will see how this bill might be introduced in the next uh, parliament. So you never know what exactly will uh, transpire with uh, that. So that's the governor actually uh, saying what he had uh, to say at uh, that particular time. But we also had uh, Joshua Chepkwony, who is the uh, chairman of uh, CAS Media. For him, he's saying that they want to do some little changes in uh, this uh, CAS International Marathon. They want to make it even much bigger. With that, they want to introduce the 21 kilometers race. We know we have the 10 kilometers race, we have the 5 kilometers race, and we have the full marathon with the 21 kilometers race. That tells you the numbers will be even much uh, bigger. And maybe control of those numbers needs to be taken with a lot of responsibilities. But it is something that can be done. It is something that has been done in other races. But for the chairman, he's saying that is where they are heading. Come next year, they want it bigger and more spicier. And he spoke to Robinson Okenye earlier, and this is what he had to say. Good afternoon to you, sir. How are you doing? Ah, uh, we're doing fine. I didn't see you take part in the in the five kilometer race. No, no I was doing the other activities of starting point and uh, and the ten k and the rest of it, and then making sure that there was an operation activity that I was performing on behalf of the organisers. Mm -hmm. Last year we did not have the cast marathon. Twenty eighteen, uh, it it came back after one year break. Uh, how can how can you you know rate the success of this year's event? I think, yes, last year there was a political campaign and so forth, and we thought that it couldn't be appropriate exactly. But uh, I think this year we've come back in a big way, and uh, we think that as we progress, we want to do better mm -hmm. than what we did the previous years. Mm -hmm. I remember yesterday when we were checking the list of uh, the registered uh, athletes, people want to take part in this race. Uh, there were 3,000 uh, athletes already registered to take part in that. but more people are still coming in wanting to register to take part in this you know what does that say of the cast marathon no it means it's the biggest event in the country and i think it is going to grow to be the biggest country and uh, our intention is that we want to upgrade it also as well to make sure that we have more people running fun so we want to make it as a tourist attraction for this region and possibly as a country as well, because you come here, you can only run with a potential world champion. Yes. You run with either an existing world champion. You are able to be able to socialize with the community here. And you can see the massive support of the community from all the way from Cap Sabiri up to here, Eldoret. It is massive. We want to do it big. We want to see more Kenyans also coming to participate. This is a race for Kenya, and we want to apply it next year to do it bigger. And we hope that we'll have more people to participate. We want to see a number of... 100,000. You see, spectators are more than 100,000, but we want 50,000 participants. Uh, CAS Marathon has always had a tradition. No person has been able to defend their title. Yes. So, you know, what does that say of the marathon? It, it, it means because here you have a pool of talents here. And the more you expose more competition, it means that the competitions here, there are talents which have not been discovered. Mm -hmm. And the CAS Marathon presents that competitive opportunity to raise the stakes and some of them go to end up dominating the world series so we are looking forward for the winner today to possibly dominate the series in coming years mm -hmm. yes we, we've seen the guys that came here uh, rather some of the winners this was their first attempt in taking part in a full marathon they came to cast they've won it i mean uh what does it say you know of the pool of talent that uh, the the region has it means we have the best in the world and you remember that the only marathon that can compete with this race is mexico the high altitude marathon so if you can do well in this high altitude marathon yes. when you go to other areas where of low altitude definitely you will be able to do better so we think that we have talents that have not been discovered and the more we give them a very competitive exposure the better they will be able to do in the World Series and the rest of the world. And the better for the country as such. Five kilometer, 10 kilometer, 42 kilometer. Are we looking at a situation where probably next year we are going to have the 21 kilometer? I, I think because of the number, uh -huh. we definitely we are relooking and saying that we, the guys who are running 10 kilometers, uh -huh. you know, a guy finished, the first guy who finished here at 31 minutes. Yes. So it means that guy can actually run a half a marathon. So we, we want to see the configuration. But we thought the 5K possibly is fun. We are introducing fun. So possibly we want to drive 
the fan to 10 kilometers and drive the professional guys to 21 kilometers. So these are something that the technical team are trying to do the configuration. And next year, we'll possibly will be able to make that move. As the chairman of this uh, cast marathon, how easy is it to organize such a big event? It is one of the, it is the biggest in the country. It is the biggest in the Eastern Central African region. How easy or how difficult is it to organize such a marathon? I think it is the participation of all partners concerned, including the likes of KTN, the, county, the two county governments, both Nandi and Wasingishu and Elgeo Marquette. All of them have participated, and the athletes, the former athletes, who have also participated, and my technical team within the CAS Media Group. So I think it is the effort of every party here in the region who has made it successful. Thanks. Now, it was not only Joshua Chepkwonyi, the chairman cast media that was elated over the turn of events today. Now, the local organizing committee chairman, Abra Mutai, said that the event went successfully and the pool of talent that was on, the, on, display, on display rather here on the 11th edition of the cast marathon was one to admire. Moses spoke to him and he said that probably next year they might even have a higher attendance. Let me, let me start by engaging you. What exactly, what, what, your general assessment, what will you say? Have we had a splendid day? Has it been a beautiful day? And how will you rate it in a scale of 1 to 10? Uh, I want to say that this is one of the best cast marathons that we've ever had. In the sense that uh, all the races began at the time that we had planned and all the races ended exactly and uh, all the athletes, whether they were doing fun run or uh, they were doing 10 kilometers or 42 kilometers, at their moment. I want to say that the media house also have had their moment to interview the athletes and make sure that uh, those who win, they have a story to tell. As the local organizing committee, I want to say that we are so impressed by the way things have gone today. The police have done a very commendable job by making sure there are no vehicles in the road and the uh, officials of the race together with the security team from Lovington have done a good job. CAS FM chairman and the team has done a good job. They were all over in the air, in the ground, to make sure that the race has gone on well. What's your general assessment? I know we've been here at CAS for a number of years. Why is it so hard for someone to defend this title? And at the same time, how is it so easy for new talent to come to CAS Marathon and always be the guys that eventually win? Uh, you know, when you are here, you are in the, in the home of athletics. And I want to tell you that looking at the altitude and looking at so many things is that when people win cars uh, and go and compete in the low altitude, surely nobody would want to still come back and run the high altitude. I want to say that for the, for the starters, they find it interesting because they know the moment you won cars, you are going to beat the world. So that is why you find that whoever has won the cars uh, marathon will go all the way and win all the other races. And, uh, for them to come back here, they know those who are still starting cannot give them a chance to do that because it is one of those hard calls that we have. Looking at the altitude, looking at so many things, it's not easy. Yeah. It's, it's not easy. It's a very, very tough, uh, tough uh, course. Your take, I know we have athletes that come. They boast it. Some experienced athletes were also in the party. And uh, those experienced athletes, I know most of them, they've been able to go and uh, run in different races, maybe where the altitude is very low. Now they come here, they get the young talent that maybe have been practicing here, and they get it hard. How do you, an athlete balance all this? How do you know that it's my time maybe to go to races like Cass International Marathon? It's my time to go to other different races. How do you balance that to have a good mix when you talk about an athlete and having his career? I, I want to say that uh, when you see an athlete winning cars, I want to tell you he was number 50 in cars, he was number 20 in cars, and he, he comes all the way to number one. It's not easy. I want to tell you, you know, 1.5 million, when you talk of that amount to somebody who has not even had a winning, it's not easy. I can tell you people are ready. Look at the men's race. The park until almost 35 kilometers was almost about uh, 21 we had 30 athletes and at, uh, at 35 we had about 10 athletes by the time the winner was coming out it was not easy so for, for the upcoming athletes i want to say that uh, they are really fighting to be number one because after being number one here already the managers are here the, the federation is here also to make sure that they, they progress in their race and as we are talking now this is uh, november 
by next year, uh, April, that athlete who won today will be ready to run an international marathon. And there, I can tell you, we will be winning easy. Your general assessment, 2018 has been a fantastic year for a marathon all over the globe. But in Kenya specifically, we've seen Kenyans that do wonders. How do you rate 2018 and uh, maybe what are some of the beautiful moments you'll remember when you think about marathon and how our marathoners have been able to perform this year? Uh, if what we've seen is something to go by, uh, uh, when we'll go to maybe some awards and uh, you know now the, the IF is also ready to award something for the year. I think athletics, Eliud Kipchoge, uh, chessball and the rest will win something. For Kenya, we are, we are waiting to see what happens in the Soya Awards because I think if athletics is not going to win that, I think uh, the overall title, then I don't know what exactly we are doing because look at the world records, look at the gold medals that we have, look at the team that I led to Asaba, they did a very good job, look at what is happening here in Kass FM, uh, 22nd of, this year, of next month, we are in Nandi County running another race uh, sponsored by the, the uh, uh, Emirates man Kaliva, who is the king, uh, the, the king there, and we have a lot of things happening. So if I want to say something is that this year was our year as athletics, and as athletics Kenya, we are very happy, we are so excited, and also to say that uh, this is also the year that we've seen a lot of changes. We are getting the lap now to make sure that the tests are, turn, are done randomly. So we are happy as Athletes Kenya. And I'm waiting to see what happens at Soya Awards. Uh, do, you, do you believe, because you're talking about the tests and uh, doping has been a big menace for quite a number of years, the, the, the lab that uh, is about to be 100% operational and people will be getting those uh, random tests, how effective will it be to be an, an, an avenue actually to fight this uh, doping menace? First of all, let me say that as a federation, we really against the use of uh, the doping. Yes. And we want to say that uh, the lab is coming to really assist us a lot and make sure that all the athletes run clean. Uh, it's not easy because, you see, look at the number of athletes that we have here. Testing all of them might not be easy. But what we are saying is that we want to cut down the number of those who are using banned substances to make sure that everybody who runs and wins, wins clean. Thank you very much, Abraham. Joining us right now, we have been telling uh, guys who are actually what happened in the 11th edition of our Casa International Marathon. I'll just uh, keep you to terms to know what exactly transpired. Uh, Cynthia Cherop, she's the lady who emerged Victoria, Victoria sorry, in the 42 kilometers race after clocking two hours, 39.16 seconds. The men's uh, affair, it was a tight battle in uh, that men's affair, but Jackson Kimboy, a man who said that he's never won any other race, was able to be crowned victorious after clocking two hours at 20.27 seconds. Okay, yeah? The athletes did what they had to do, but the different stakeholders here, they're saying that there is much more that can be done to better the stakes and even to better the state of athletics in Kenya. Of course, different stakeholders having their opinion on what should be done to make sure that we improve, uh, we improve not only athletics but other sports in the country. Now, 2018 has been a fantastic year in athletics. Remember, Eliud Kipchoge broke the world record in Berlin. We had Gladys Cherono set in the fifth fast, fourth fastest time in women's marathon. We had uh, Mary Keitani win her fourth New York marathon title. Now, we spoke to Athletics Kenya, that is President Jackson Tuwei, and he said that it has been a fantastic year. Yes, they are fighting with doping, and also he let us in uh, on what to expect in the 2019 calendar year when you talk about athletics, and also he's saying that Kenya is bidding to host the world cross country. Take a look. I know he's a happy man because we've had a beautiful day, a beautiful race, and new winners, talent in people maybe that will be representing Kenya in years to come. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Um, and first of all, let me start by thanking KTN for covering the event live. I think uh, the people who did not get a chance to come and watch, they have actually watched in KTN. And this is beautiful. When I watched it in the morning, I saw, first of all, the, I think the first thing that has happened in this race, even before we talk about the race itself, is that um, the, the road from Kapsabed to this place was clear. And there's nothing as good as that for an athlete. That the place is clear, there's no disturbance, they concentrate on the event itself. So I want to, I want to thank the organizers and, uh, and CAS FM for doing that. So this has been very, very nice. But otherwise for the event, yes, 
is a 11th edition. We are very um, happy that it has happened again because last year, you remember, um, there was a bit of a problem. But now they have come back in full swing. And, um, and I think it's been a success. It's been a success, I will agree. What, what are some of the things uh, people learn? I know you've been behind making sure that we have uh, different races, marathons, short races, different races across the globe. What are the lessons that people do learn after having one event, another event, another event? This is a edition. It gets better as it goes. We, there's always something to learn in everything that you do, particularly the events. And it's true, we have attended quite a number of them. But one of the things that we keep on learning is the planning. Because if you don't plan well from the beginning, then you don't expect very good results. And you see, uh, a marathon like this involves a lot of uh, other sectors, not only the sponsor and not only the technical people. It involves security, it involves um, sponsors, it involves good, good um, coordination, it involves all sorts of things that are required to be coordinated in a manner that everything is synchronized very well. And this is the, one of the most important things. And you see, you cannot synchronize all that unless you plan and have a lot of meetings to keep on looking at what did you do last time so that you can improve and you can polish everything that, has, that is being done so that you make it better as you go along. And this is how people get to enjoy um, a, a race like this. And, and you can see today, for example, um, there were so many athletes and there are quite a number of events. I know um, KASEF have requested that they want to introduce a 21 kilometer race. Well, that, now, that's a new event. And so you can see it goes back to planning. How then do you coordinate all these activities in such a manner that everything runs smoothly, every athlete enjoys, and every athlete gets his or her own time? You must time everybody, even the last athlete. You must time that athlete so that they know this time they did this, they would like to do something less maybe in future. So. Let's talk about the 18 athletics uh, calendar. In a beautiful year, we'll agree. With the likes of Elliot, uh, uh, a record that we saw it uh, finally came. The likes of Gladys Gerono, the, in, in the month, we have had people who also boast middle distance races. What's your general assessment and maybe what are some of the highlights you'll say for 2018? Well, with us, we are coming to the end of the season now and starting another one. But uh, because you're asking about 2018, which has just ended, um, with us, we are very excited. Because we started the year with a cross-country, African cross-country in Algeria, where we became number one in, in Africa overall. Then we went, um, later on, we went to um, uh, the um, World Under 20. Sorry, after that, we went to Commonwealth in Australia, uh, although that one was, uh, you know, it, we, it was, uh, athletics was one of the, one of the um, events that was taking place. There was, of course, others. Uh, but uh, the team also did extremely well. Then thereafter, we went to the World Under 20 in um, Tampere, in Finland, and our team was number one in the world. Um, a very, very good performance. Uh, then after that, we went to the African Championships in Asaba, Nigeria. Our team was number one in Africa. Now we have brought um, uh, two records, um, uh, two world records this year. In fact, three, three world records. We are very happy about Eliud Kipchoge because we have waited for that record for a very long time. Eventually, it has come, and we want to congratulate Kipchoge. He prepared well, and that is exactly what I was talking about. Preparation, planning, he prepared well. And we all wished him well, and I think he was ready. Because last, last year, when he went to... Berlin, the weather was very bad, and there is no way you could have broken a record. This time round, everything worked very well, and we are very proud that he did that. Later on, he was recognized by United Nations during the United Nations Day as, um, as, a, as a person of the year. We want to congratulate him. That is not a mean achievement. Now, um, then we had, of course, uh, Gladys Girono, as you said, on the women's side. She also won. Wonderful. We also had um, Beatrice Chepkoech breaking the world record in the 3,000 meters stable chase. So you can see, uh, really, I mean, when you talk about 2018, we have everything that goes our way. And um, now on the 4th, 4th of uh, December, we are going to vote, or IWF is going to vote for the World uh, Athlete of the Year. We want to wish, we have got four in that category. We have Jude Kipchoge, we have Beatrice, we have uh, um, uh, um, Kori, Kori, So we have, it is not 
is it or being uh, or the world athlete. So I hope we will wrap it up at least one, if not if not both, uh, coming to Kenya, so that then we end up the year with all those. And also the emerging stars are also uh, on the rise. We have some impressive talent that are also on the watch, but. There are some issues that we cannot wish away. The issue like uh, for doping, but at least something positive is happening. We're getting a lab. We'll be able even to be getting, uh, those uh, uh, random tests. Uh, what's, what's your uh, general take about uh, the lab to be specific? Well, it is, um, it is this we are looking forward to all along. Because um, you see in Africa, they are very few labs. In fact, this is the, 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 the third only in Africa. Um, and so it is something that is good for our country. It is something that will give us almost immediate results in terms of anti-doping. It is something that um, the, the athletes need to look at this thing very seriously. Now it is even coming closer. And you are right. Doping, I think, has become a, a, major, um, a major problem for us. And, and particularly for the young upcoming, because you also asked about the young um, generation. We, I want to advise. I want to advise the young generation. Don't listen. Don't listen to anybody cheating you or coming to tell you, oh, so-and-so is also doing this or the other. Don't be brought into a trap. This thing is dangerous. This thing will mess up your career. It will mess up your health. It will mess up your family life. It will mess up everything. Please let us get out of this. As much as we have got the lab here, but it is still our responsibility as individuals, as individual athletes, coaches, uh, officials, all the, all the athlete support personnel, it is our responsibility to make sure that we finish this thing. We, have, we, we were in Italy the other day for a, um, an awareness seminar. On the, for the 5th, 6th, 7th and 8th of December, we are going to have a seminar in Naivasha for most of the athletes, all the athletes that we have invited. So I would like to ask the athletes to come so that we can discuss together. And um, IWF team will be coming to join us to see uh, that we do the right thing so that we, we, we get out of this thing completely. We want to bring back, as much as we have, re we have brought back all the records and everything else, we want to bring the, 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 um, the respect to, to, to insanity to this country so that uh, wherever you go in the world, they know that we are honest people, we run clean, and we are ready for it. So please, I want to ask everybody, including the media, let us fight this thing. And sure, we will fight it. Uh, do you project 2019? I know the season is just about to start. How beautiful do you expect it to be? Maybe better than the just concluded season? Well, everybody always aims for a better season, better than the last one. So we are prepared. We have, we have produced our calendar of events for the new season. Yesterday, for example, we started our cross-country preparation for the uh, cross-country in Machakos. That was the first event in our, in our calendar. We are going to have the World Cross Country in Denmark in March. We are going to come and uh, select the team right here in, in, uh, in February for the World Cross Country. So that is one that we are planning for. We are going to have the World Relays this time in Japan. Uh, we have always been having it in um, Bahamas, but this time around it has gone. So we also want to select a strong team. We are going to have the African youth and African junior in um, Abidjan, Cote d'Ivoire, in April. We will see that. Uh, and we, we produce a, a very strong team. And then, of course, we are going to have the World Championships in Doha in September next year. And that is, I think that's going to be the main highlight. And then to wrap it up uh, the season, we are going to have the, the, the All African um, uh, All African Games uh, in, um, in, in Africa. And therefore, we, want, we are preparing for all that. So please let us prepare together, but let us prepare clean. I want to repeat again, let us all prepare clean because we cannot win unless we get out of these things so that we can go and win and win clean and tell the world that we are ready to win clean. We are ready to win clean. Thank you very much. And uh, I know you have wonders. We expect much more doing uh, some uh, fantastic uh, job there. They're putting it in black and white, saying what they have been able to achieve uh, in the different uh, season that they have had. Trust you me, it was a very, very tight athletics uh, calendar.
Thinking about uh, Soya Awards, and uh, they're saying maybe this athletics uh, team needs to be chosen as the overall best uh, team in the 2018 uh, calendar. Will you agree with that? They've had an impressive uh, season, but I know also other teams will say we've also had a fair share of uh, good results. But AK, they at least they've done something positive, you'll agree. It has been a fantastic year when you talk about athletics. It, athletics all the way from uh, cross country. We won cross country. I mean, Eliud Kipchoge breaking the world record, Gladys Cherono, fourth fastest time in uh, marathon history. Uh, Mary Kay Tanyi winning, uh, win, winning the uh, New York Marathon for a fourth time. We had uh, Beatrice 3,000 meters triple chest breaking the world, uh, world record. record. So it has been a fantastic year when you talk about athletics in in the country. Of course, yeah, we've seen a number of athletes, of course, uh, banned uh, for doping by the Athletics Integrity Unit. But uh, apart, aside from that, I think it has been a fantastic year. It has been a fantastic year, and we are confident and optimistic that the lab that uh, is uh, being set up here in the country will also be, be very, very vital in making sure that this doping menace is an issue of uh, the past. Maybe I know we will be having some uh, little tits and bits of all those issues, but they're the issues that needs to be tackled head on. And we will say we have a clean spot. Yes, we do, but but uh, those uh, few elements are needs uh, to be taken out. Source of champions, we know Nandi County, the go county governor uh, are there. For him, he said that he knows a lot needs to be done in making sure that we lift sports here in the country. He also said that more money needs to be channeled to the sports ministry, maybe something positive that will make the sportsmen and also ladies a smile, saying that they have finances and something that will give them much more reasons maybe to star and prosper when they go out there to represent the the counties and also the country. Let's listen in what the governor of Nandi County had to say.